OBS Chevy solid axle conversion kit installation using the Tahover landing axle swap kit. In this video, I'm going to show you what you have to take off and remove to do a solid axle conversion on your GMT 400 Chevy. So all these things here have got to come off. You've got a brake line, shock absorber, upper control arm mount, lower control arm mounts, differential mounts, all that's got to come off. So you can spend a lot of time trying to unbolt everything or my own personal favorite, just cut. Cut it all, because it's all got to get cut anyway. Cut it, cut it, cut it. So we'll undo the brake line, potentially. But we have to redo everything, so don't spend a whole lot of time trying to save things nicely. We're going to have to basically cut it all. The one thing that you may end up needing, since we're going to do a uh, modern style unit bearing, is we're going to need this ABS sensor right here, so we're going to gently remove this for sure. This cam bolt is jammed against the shock mount. So let's twist the cam bolt. I like these. You put it on a hose and it clamps it down that way. Because what happens is when you take this brake line off, it's gonna, when you take this brake line off, it's going to basically just leak and leak and leak and leak. Okay. So far, no brake line leaking, so that's cool. <clears throat> This tie rod end just spun the nut off. So guess what? I'm just gonna cut it. And 
And then sway bar length, same thing. We're just cutting this. Torsion bar is always in the way, so I'm going to make it. Anyway. Torsion bar, which is right here, goes back to a cross member that will also get removed that only holds the torsion bars. So we're going to cut this here and then we'll take that whole cross member out. I'm not going to fight torsion bars. This bolt right here, this lower control arm bolt in the back, is actually seized to the bushing. You can see it when I... So I, if I turn the bolt, can you hear it squeaking? Because it's trying, and I, it's actually springing because it's trying to turn the whole bushing, so it's seized. So we're just gonna cut it off. Make sure nothing's hanging below this, nothing's on the ground. go cut that off we got two piles of parts okay so you see this right here this bracket holds the passenger side of the front differential I mean for the most part it's just hanging look at this like it's almost out but the other one that's gonna be a little more difficult is the driver's side because it's cast onto the housing up there you see that bolt so I got to support this and then start uh, dropping that differential. Let's disconnect the uh, front differential actuator because we're gonna reuse that. As you can see, I've got my own kind of custom made axle jack that jacks these up.
differential. Okay, so see this? This cross member right here is only for the torsion bars, so we're gonna unbolt it and just get it out of there. So it's actually bolted right here. There's a, there's a bolt that goes through right here. See it up here. Okay, see, so this cross member, let's go over and do it on the other side, same thing. Well, now we gotta get the uh, pitman arm off. See the pitman arm puller? I like to unbolt these three bolts and get the pitman arm out of the way because the customer doesn't want us to pull this cross member, so we're gonna leave that in. If that cross member is pulled out, you can get to that pitman arm really easy, but since he doesn't want us to cut that out, we're gonna pull the pitman just like that. So I just unbolt it, leave it hooked up to the power steering lines and the, um, you know, the steering shaft and everything. I'm just, I just moved it out of the way. All right, so that's what you have to physically take off before you start cutting to doing your solid axle conversion on the GMT 400 chip. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you what's gotta get cut off.